Hi, welcome to Wholeheartedly for the Lord Bible Journaling with Sherry. Today's process video will be in my Psalms and Proverbs Illustrated Faith Bible. And I'll also be using this beautiful kit from Ella Rowitz. I realize I have a bunch of Ella Rowitz kits that I have not done in my Bible, so you will be seeing some videos. And I use a lot of these kits that I buy. I use them digitally, so you guys really don't see it. And I'm starting to do my Instagram again. I'm really not a social media person. I don't really care for it too much, but I will post some of my digitals and some of my Bible journaling over on Instagram. Anyway, this is a beautiful kit. I thought it was so apropos for this new year. It's Proverbs chapter 16, verse 9, a man's heart plans his course, but Yahweh directs his steps. Let me just read it really quickly. In the King James Version, it says, a man's heart deviseth his way, but the Lord directs his steps. And then the New Living Translation reads, we can make our plans, but the Lord determines our steps. So let's see how this process turns out. Thank you for watching. And remember, if I can Bible journal, so can you. And I'll also be doing a really quick, fast entry in my Hillary inspired planner. And I'll share that shortly with you. Thank you for watching and take care. Let me share with you what else I'll be using. I am going to use this cute, cute girl. She is from Cella Creates. I don't know the name of the kit, but I thought she was so cute. I just love the colors. And I thought it went well with this kit since this particular kit didn't have a girl with it. Normally it has a lady, but it didn't. So I decided to use her because I thought it matched. Some washi tape, a little background with some stenciling, and that'll be all. If we have not realized it before, which I believe we have, by now we should realize that it doesn't matter what kind of plans we have. The Lord has the final answer. He directs our steps. And that can be a good thing and a bad thing. It's always good. Let me say it like this. It's always good that the Lord directs our steps. Here's where it, it turns kind of bad. And it's always on our end. It's never on the Lord's end because he never makes mistakes. He's never impulsive with what he does. He doesn't have to wonder how a thing is going to turn out because of his omniscience. He knows exactly everything and every way it's going to turn out. He knows our thoughts are far off. So he knows what we're thinking and what we're planning long before it even becomes a form, a formed thought in our minds. And I'm so grateful for that. And reading this, I often wondered if the Lord was considered in those plans because people can make many, many claims about what they're going to do, how they're going to do it. I can make my plans. I know I've done it. I've, I've made plans. He totally directed me in a different direction because I'm his child and he knows what's best. And I didn't always understand that process. And at many times I balked at it because I thought I knew. I thought this was the way to go, but it turned out that it wasn't the way to go. And so we can have all of these plans in our hearts and in our minds, and we're going forward with it. But the Lord sees everything that's about to happen. We didn't foresee any financial difficulty. We didn't foresee that we would lose our jobs. I'm not being negative. I'm just saying that when we do not consider the Lord, we get stumped and we get upset and angry at the circumstances in life because it didn't go the way we claimed it. We didn't go the way we thought it should have gone. We told everyone, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. This is who I'm supposed to marry, but it didn't turn out that way. Who made the mistake? It couldn't be the Lord. It had to be my choosing. It had to be my will that I was moving off of. So we have to be very, very careful with that. I like the way Matthew Henry says, he says, God has the ordering of an event and sometimes directs their steps to that which they least intended. So he sees every event that's going to happen and sometimes he orders it for his own divine will. We don't always understand it, but he orders it. And sometimes he takes us to places that are not comfortable, that are painful, but we have to know, we have to know the word of God and that all things work together for good to them who love the Lord and who are the called according to his purpose. And the Lord tells us in his word in the book of James to not make plans 
in businesses and to do this and to that, but say, but the, if the Lord will. And that's the lesson. This year, I hope and pray that we as believers would get rooted and grounded in the word of God, that we would stop going on our emotions and our feelings and really, really ask the Lord to lead and guide us in all things so that our steps can be ordered in a direction that he would have us to go. We have to consider the Lord's will and accept his will. So I pray that the Lord would give us a heart to accept his will for my life. And I pray that the Lord would soften your heart to accept his will because he really does know what's best. Whatever we consider to do, ask the Lord to direct our steps. Ask the Lord, if this is not of you, Lord, shut it down. Turn my heart, close the door. And when we have glorifying God in mind, when we want him to direct us, he is pleased to. And when things don't go our way, we thank him because we know he did this because he ordered my steps and we can thank and praise God for the closed doors. I know I do. Right now I'm working in my mini garden Bible. I didn't have room to write notes in my Psalms and Proverbs Bible. So I did that for more illustrative purposes, but I'm writing my prayer and my note right here. I love my mini garden Bible just to put those little nuggets in and to decorate a small page. So that is something you can do if you are new to Bible journaling or if you've never heard of the mini garden Bible. I learned that from Cat Woods and I was so inspired by it and I started my own and this is my second one. So if you're new to this channel and you want to know more about it, let me know and I'll do something with it. Thank you for watching and take care. So guys, here is my Hillary inspired planner that I am documenting different days when different events happen. This one, on this particular day, I spoke to an old friend who I hadn't spoken to in, oh my gosh, so, so many years. We finally caught up to each other. She emailed me from an old email and took a chance and we spoke and it was like, we never stopped speaking. It's like we picked up as if we'd been talking all week long and that's when you know you know you have a friend in someone when you can just pick up and move on we just talked about life and we laughed and my son and her children and what we were doing uh, vocationally and, and spiritually it was just a beautiful thing so I wanted to document that day and put it in this planner and I am so loving doing this once again take care and I love you guys so much thank you for your love and support